we're going into a place that we're not even going to look like this. You know what I mean? But we will go further yeah. to the stars. Mm -hmm. even, I don't know how they're going to make, I don't know how they're going to look without the sun, without the gravity. You know what I mean? Lay down, we ain't going nowhere. You can come and give a try. Our bond is our blood and thicker than water, like Goonies never say die. Say die. I ain't going to school, nigga. What? I almost dropped out of high school, bro. Almost? Almost. My senior year. They kicked me out. They don't want me to stay there. I was selling drugs. High I school? Sell drugs. No, I went to sell drugs, bro. I don't sell drugs in school. I did. I that shit was lit. <laughs> <laughs> no, niggas. I don't know. I was always fucked up in school. It's actually kind of sad. Cause I just realized how fucked up I was in school. Cause I don't remember school. Yeah. I just know I was there. And I remember Me being too. there. I know everything I was on while I was there. I remember being there on uh, Clonopin. Some crazy shit happened. I remember just having pills. I remember getting mad at um Emma because we threw her something and she fucking flushed my pill instead of just saying no and giving it back to us. Uh -huh. She said, "Yeah, I feel like she's about that and just flushed it." And I was like, "Why didn't she just give it back to me? I could have taken that." Again, nigga, what? I have only done acid, Excuse though. Me, I've only ever done acid, acid twice. First time was like when I was with a, with mm. a girl, she's just chilling with her up there. Mm -hmm. We sleep together, and then when I took it, I was just like looking at different colors and shapes <laughs> and, and patterns, like, whoa, this is lit, this is lit. But the second time, bro, I just had like a bad, a bad, a bad trip. I was like, bro, shit feels weird. I was feeling <laughs> anxious, you know. Oh, I feel No, but, um, that's crazy. You got ADHD or no? No, I got, I had, I had, <clears throat> I had depression, but I also had anxiety. Nah, I, so I, nah, I was asking because like with the um psychological um visuals, you kind of if you have ADHD and you took shit growing up for it, like um Adderall or um or any other like shit you gotta take for ADHD, you most likely won't get like psych um psychological vi uh visuals. Yeah when you take like tabs or shrooms because the shit you take for ADHD fucks with it if you take it as a kid growing up mm. not if you take it like once or twice that's obviously not gonna fuck with it but it fucks with it because I don't get I don't get no happy sauce <laughs> <laughs> if you fucking because I remember the first time like my friends are feeling it and I'm sitting there and it's been like an hour I'm sitting there I'm like why isn't this shit not hitting and I guess it hit Cause they're sitting there like, yo, your people are mad dying. Like, what are you talking about? I'm like, nah, nigga, like nothing's going on. I'm like, like, like work. yeah, wow. my people are dying. Like, yeah, I'm just sitting there chilling. I'm like, yo, like, what are y'all seeing that I'm not seeing? And then I got mad because they're all having a blast. I'm like, damn, now I can't see nothing. And I go into the yeah. bathroom and I sit there for like, I sit there, I sat there probably for like two hours just chilling in the bathroom, talk, like looking in the mirror and I was just talking to myself and I was like, these niggas don't give a fuck. Are you chilling here by yourself? I'm like, they're having a blast, you chilling here by yourself. And I was like, where are your friends at? Nigga? And I'm sitting there and I sat down on the bathroom floor and I just remember I was chilling there listening to music. And nobody came and got me, so I got up and I went to the room and I was like, y'all niggas just don't care that I'm chilling here. Oh, <laughs> and I sat down there talking to me, I'm like, nah, it's cool. Yeah. I'm just tripping, y'all niggas tripping, and we're all just tripping. Then we went outside, and Nina got back from work, and she was mad that we took tabs without it. But like, she was she wouldn't she... be able to, she wouldn't have been able to handle the tabs because like, I don't know. I start Nina off like little by little. There's certain shit I won't let Nina touch because like, I don't know. She never had like certain shit before, and I don't need like her weed. freaking out, huh? I'm a weak guy. You so weak. I, uh, <laughs> I I I got so intoxicated with alcohol. Like I got too much. I drank too much alcohol the other day when uh, you weren't even here living at the time, man. That was my friend and this other friend, Izel and Esteban. They were here. Izel brought a bottle over. Shout out, Izel. He's in the military right now. <laughs> Shout out. And we was drinking a whole bottle of tequila. Uh -huh. I drank most of that tequila bottle and. I couldn't sleep for the night. I couldn't sleep for the, the next day. I was like, I slept in the bathroom, bro. I was like, mm -hmm. lying floor. Oh. I couldn't sleep, man. That was off the ass. Everything, everything that was I, I, I took that day, like, it just bleh. Yeah. 
I couldn't do it, bro. That was the worst I felt. And then the night, that was my last time I drank alcohol too. Like I don't want, I don't want to drink alcohol ever again. Uh, yeah, no. I don't. Everybody's like, I don't know. Everybody around me has just been getting like bottles and shit and liquor, but. I was drinking a lot at a young age, nigga, and I just, I don't want no liquor no more. That shit used to fuck me up. Because, like, when I was on probation, I, like, went, like, two months two months clean. Because uh -huh. I kept getting caught, caught up, and I got locked up. So I was like, fuck it, I got to go, like, two months clean. But I was Bad. staying at my aunt's, too. Yeah, I was staying at my aunt's, too, because I got kicked out. And when I was staying there, my cousins only, like... I was basically going to clean off weed because I just kept getting caught up with that because everything else is just in like three days. So I was fine. I already knew how to time that. But So I, I went clean. I didn't get to smoke. So I was bugging about smoking. My dad was like, hey, yo, well, if you can't smoke, just drink. And I was like, real shit. Because I was already drinking, but I was like, I guess I'll just have to drink. My cousin was already, my cousin drinks like that. And he had bottles every day. So I was really just drinking. And that's also when I got into the habit of smoking cigarettes because I wasn't smoking cigarettes like that either. I was strictly weed, and then he had a cigarette, and I went. Does that feel different? Cigarettes I was fucked and up weed every day. No. Cigarettes is just like, I don't know, kind of just like, if you stress and it's just something for like a quick second, that will kind of just like calm you down. Not fully, like it can't always help you from like panic attacks or anxiety attacks and shit, but it kind of just calms you if you don't have anything else to smoke on. Uh-huh. Huh. I didn't never done cigarettes. Like, I just don't weed. <laughs> yeah, I, think well, I, I will never do cigarettes. I have people like smoked around me cigarettes. It's just I cannot stand the smell of cigarettes. Well, I hate the smell of cigarettes I too, but stand. I just I got problems. <laughs> I wish I didn't smoke cigarettes like that. You still got that butt down downstairs? You smoked it? <laughs> you smoked nigga. He smacked. He came up here smack, nigga. What? Huh? You want to smoke? You want to smoke? Yeah, I got something. You got something? I got something. Okay, you yeah. got everybody in there? Save me. I ran out of weed today. I'm hmm? so sorry. What? I ran out of weed today. No, it's okay. It's cool. You want, you want me to make you coffee? Mm -hmm. Oh, me? No, nah, I'm okay. I'll be living. Mm -hmm. I'll be all right. I just woke up not too long ago. I make something like all day. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Relaxing. Nah, nigga, I've been stressed the fuck out. Not stressed the fuck out. I've just been like working and shit, and I don't. I have sleeping problems, so I haven't been able to sleep like that. And nobody was finally at my crib because I've been having like five niggas at the crib every day. And then nobody was there, so I just got to knock this morning. Fendi. Hmm? You can call me and talk to him. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to kill somebody. <laughs> I'm about to kill somebody. That's how it be. Or I kill somebody. Don't tell nobody. Shh. 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 Like <laughs> Why'd you look up like that, man? <laughs> Good buggy. I like that clock, though. I forgot what it does, that's why I'm looking at it. I think, like, every hour it just makes a sound and it starts. While and out, it and makes that same dancing. sound. Yeah. Yeah, niggas are dancing and it spins around. I'm surprised this shit works. How old is this shit? Very old. <laughs> he said very, very old. old. <laughs> <laughs> What's good when my friend posted my account on his story? He's going crazy. <laughs> you saw my cat eat the meatloaf, nigga, on the ground. Finish your meatloaf. Finish your meatloaf. Finish your meatloaf. I love meatloaf. I love You want some meatloaf? You want some meatloaf? Eat your bones. 
I can't. I don't know what's going on. Eat your bowl. Eat your bowl. How many cats does this man have? Oh, I have two. Well, three now because of fucking Nina. My cat had kittens. Oh, we have kittens right now. One just died. Oh, a kitten died? Mm -hmm. A little baby died. Mm -hmm. It's in a box and I realize it's in my bedroom right now. Okay. I need to bury it now. Where did yeah. you cremate it? Uh, I don't know where you go with that. I have one buried in my backyard already from one of our kids when they had kids this, like um um this first time and I named him Rocket and I buried him in my backyard because he died right when he came out. I cut him out the sack and I tried giving that nigga CPR mm -hmm. for like an hour straight and I started crying and playing and I started singing Pursuit of Happiness to the cat and I sat him up on a box and I was trying to make him wake up and I was like wake up and he's sitting up and I was like here take a sit sat here and I sat him there but then I picked him up and I laid him down so he could sleep. I was like he's just sleeping for a bit but he wasn't sleeping so I picked him up and I tried to help him walk and he just he was dead, man. Yeah, <laughs> and I was fucked up. Yeah. I was fucked up. And I just kept saying pursuit of happiness. I was crying for like an hour straight. Uh -huh. He was like so cute. His name and then we named him Rocket. Okay. And now he's buried by my house by the rock. Is that a cat? Mm hmm I love cats that eat rats. A cat that eats rats? Actually yeah. my cats be catching them motherfuckers so and bringing bad. them to the door. They do? Dude, Yo, I saw I saw two cats playing with a rat, bro. Like, like, like they they was. I saw the two cats sitting down, like just laying down, right. Mm -hmm. And then I look in the middle and I see something small, and it was a rat, bro. And they were playing like like chicken with it. If they go there, mm -hmm. the one would go like that, and the other one would go like that with the paw. Mm -hmm. Boom! And the rat was in the middle, bro. They did it for like almost a half hour, bro. And then okay. eat them. The rat was in the middle. And yeah, was... I'm just chilling. And the grass. One was laying here, one was laying there. And I saw a little something in the middle. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> and that was a rat. And they all had him back and forth. <laughs> Couldn't run that the way. Rat. <laughs> they were so yeah. cool, bro. How they can just play with their food. Because nobody feed those cats. Mm. Well, I don't think they eat them. I think they just kill them. And some prey shit cats. No, I actually eat the rest. They just kill them. Oh, yeah, that's true. And if they got a well, person that, that they juicy. have, they bring it back for respect. You know, all those true. juices. Nah, I think this match. Uh, mm. You know, they eat. You just want to tell yourself that. Because I kiss mm. cats. You see, I want to tell myself that. But I really don't think so, yo. I think they got that bad breath. They got that. I, I smelled their breath before. And they got that line. I kiss my dog. Like, I, I give him oh, a kiss on the no. nose. On the nose. Cats, Our bro. dog is really old. We have if a I black a cat. Oh, and he's probably like 16, 17 years old now. But his, he's so, so old. That nigga's breath is boofing. It's bad. I fuck with him, though. That's my little pug series. But I don't want him to die. He's mad old. I'm really going to be so good. I'm going to be real dead. That's low shit. Roaches. But they really look alright. Roach ones are fine. I'm getting a I'm getting a new dog. What? It's gonna be oh, a girl. Yeah. So I'm gonna get her in two months. Uh I thought it was gonna be a boy and I was gonna name it Top. But What are you gonna uh, name it now? After some Bottom. serious <laughs> serious thinking. Um Chapter two. Huh? Chapter two. Chapter two? Chapter two. Chapter two. Chapter two. Yeah. The girl. Nice. Yeah, cause I'm gonna stick with the T, you know, in honor of the, the my boy, my previous, my previous dog. His name was Thor, so I'm gonna keep the T, and to the next one, so I have it, you know, we're gonna be top, and now I'm gonna be chapter two. Nice. Yes, hi. Yeah. When I go for a run, he's gonna with me. When I get into a fight, that dog's gonna be there. I'm gonna turn my dog to fight too. Dog. Well, he's gonna die. <laughs> Cause people mean. What's my name? Sure. You know my name? Am I <coughs> me? Name? <coughs> my name? I'm not that. My name you, no, no, no. you call me. What name you got for me? You haven't made up a name already. Hold, hold up, hold up. No, sir. I remembered it just now. I'm saying here. I was about to call you something with an M and I was like, no, nah, that's not it. <laughs> I'm gonna you, let's, let's backtrack and try that again. There was this girl I used to date, and her dad I used to, her dad I used to call me Annie. 
somebody who has a son or a daughter like you're not just dating that person like you you are you're having that entire package yeah. you know you get that mm -hmm. complete package you know what Cody it's that stuff bro God I believe that I don't mind no kids kids are crazy I, I got I it if you're gonna stay over you can always stay over with me no touching just cut we're having a super <laughs> <ready. laughs> <laughs> you got work Tomorrow? Yeah. No. That's no? why that's why otherwise I would have been sleeping right now. Yeah, we're filming this at what? It's ten forty four. Yeah, bro. Ten forty four at night. Man, I'll be up in the mo oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. First time for everything. Yeah, I like the I like the place where I work at. Guitar Center. Hey. I'm meeting new new faces of like people who wanna make a life of Music, right? Music, entertainment, you know. Yo, I'm yo I want to work at Guitar Center, nigga. I go there and I play on the. I be hitting the drum set that's over in the back corner, and then I be hitting that room with the um. They got this um, cause you know you can hook it up to the um. Yeah. Uh, the hiring too. Where? Mhm. Mm this is the guitar that I want, and it's um. But we went there a while ago. I think it's electric and acoustic at the same time. And it's pretty I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That shit's hot. I'm not into electric guitars. I'm just more into natural acoustic guitar. Well, it's only awesome because then you could hook it up to the um, like that odd shit. I want a math tempo. Both. Both. Electric and acoustic. I'm not the best guitar. I can only play piano. I want to learn to play more instruments. Because the only thing I can play, I can only play piano. Name was it. Wait. Yeah, I'll get away with you. A wig? He's talking about rocking out. He wants to get an electrical guitar. Oh, I forgot you don't speak Spanish. Who, me? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's in between. I'm not like fluent in it, but um, I can understand most things. But I don't. I won't. I refuse to speak to anybody in Spanish. Cause you, you refuse to speak anybody in Spanish. What? Wait, what? No. I refuse to talk to anybody in Spanish. I'm not doing all that. Me, one day. <laughs> no. Imagine you know. I'll be my girlfriend one day. You know that, right? My nigga's in jail. I know, but I'm gonna get jail. I'm out. <laughs> I was in jail. I got out. Tell me about that traffic, bro. <laughs> Yo. Traffic. It's. Well, growing up, I like did it, but didn't even mean to. I just had shit. And niggas would be like, Yo, you got this? Can I get this off you? I was like, Fuck it. You had it. But then I just got it. I gave it to them, nigga. They gave me the bread, and I just went and got my shit back. But I was a kid then, so it was like eighth grade, so I was like, Damn, nigga. So like, I just went and got some more shit and just took my shit, but also helped them out. So I didn't even like realize like niggas was even moving like that. But I've, I've moved a lot of shit. Right. I'm getting back into Sorry, it because I need some more bread if I'm getting so if everything I, I need. If I guess I'm cold, you can help me. Both of them. These folks. These Yeah, like sell it. Oh, by the way, from last time we met. Um, right after that happened, probably actually like a, about like five days ago, probably, that house got raided. The niggas are gone. <laughs> Except for the niggas who put, uh, who was trying to get me up out that chair and tell me to get out. They still around, but I caught them on the street. Uh-huh. They're stupid as hell. <laughs> They're mad stupid. Them niggas will mash up to see me again. I pulled up the next day too, right at the same trap. I was like, what up? The <laughs> niggas are tight. I was like, y'all niggas thought, nigga. But they're tapped, so I try leaving them alone. I feel bad for niggas that are tapped, because they really ain't even like here, you know? So it's like, I, I get mad, but I don't really do much, because 
We were dead in this dead case anyway. What do people do that? Like, why do they just, like, go trapping, you know, instead of getting a job? Mm, they don't really trapping. Some niggas are trapping because, I don't know, some niggas just, they all have, niggas all have different reasons, more money. Some niggas, they just trap because they blood. Some niggas don't want to get a job. Some people um, get caught up in it. But it's just a lot of different shit. Everybody got a different story on why they do it and if they even want to be doing it. It's crazy. But. I know some, some people are even born into that stuff too. That's what I said. Yeah. If you got, yeah. comes in a long line of family, like, gangster. Yeah. I don't know. Like me. Yeah. It's all OD. But I'm weak. What have you been up to, man? What have I been up to? Mm -hmm. I had a good day. I don't know if you, had, you if you know, like I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to be closer to God. Honestly, mm -hmm. that's just my thing. What I'm doing right now, I'm just trying to be whole. And for anybody who hears this, for anybody who hears this, man, just like if you're going through tough times, just you know, just if you if you feel <laughs> alone, bro, talk to God, you. talk to God. Oh man, talk you to God. Talk to me. Nah, not me, talk man. Talk to God. Oh, you gotta talk to God, I gotta talk to you. Yeah. So you gotta do that, it's your job. You see, people don't need to understand that when you're in the gap mode, your job is to help people, not to help you. Okay. <clears throat> you gotta help people, bro. The bad, the ugly, everybody. I talk to people. I know, I've been doing that same shit, and I've been a shitter. I know it's hard, bro. I, I've been there. Like, to help somebody that you know is a piece of fucking shit, and you know, but still, though, there's a word that you got in there that's gonna hit him in the spot that he's brain. Yeah. And it's gonna trigger him. And in the long run, he's gonna change because of that word. Before. And you wanna be like, damn, how the hell did I say that? I said, I said a lot to you. I said a lot of things before that I, uh, you know, I, I didn't mean. It's like, you know, like, you gotta go through different experiences and talk to different people and then it's just like you either mess up or you get it right but you're not like, supposed to have no meaning with no meaning thoughts and no evil with people like if you got an argument with somebody you gotta like break it down like call them up say you're sorry you know? say sorry oh yes you cool mm -hmm. not like yeah. nothing happened be nice to them yeah. Hi, yo what's up yo get closer bro get closer here like to, to hear. Like, yeah, but because we're recording. 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 We're Evangelizing is what he does. That's a word. He tries to spread the like, word of God. He takes people and he trying to convert them. Mm. You see, I won't convert people. I will just tell them the fact. Bro, good is good, bad is bad. You like shady, it's because you're doing so much bad. And it's called disobedience. And God is real. And if you're doing disobedience, he's going to kick your butt. No matter who it is. Mm. You know what I mean? If a pastor, anybody have a line to go with that. Mm -hmm. Well, she's good. We're disobedient, bro. We like babies. Well, like babies? To God, remember, He made us. He's... Oh, it's a word. Yeah. I'm, still, I'm still like at the beginning. I'm like, I'm very right beginning. Just remember that you're a baby. My nigga got into that shit too up. now. He said he was yeah. trying to get closer to God while oh, he's so locked cool. up and shit. Yeah. Good shit for him. It makes things easier, bro. People yeah. want to come at you for help. By the soul. They won't even know why they're doing it. Mm -hmm. But then in front of you, they feel like talking to you. Blah, blah, blah. But you got to have a good answer, bro. Do not take advantage. You got to have a good from your heart, from God. I do that a lot in jail. You know? Yeah. A lot of people come to me. When preaching the word of the Bible, some people take it out of context, like, and, you know, they interpret it differently. You gotta watch it for that. Yeah. But it's not bad. That's why you gotta keep going back. 
That's why people, like, they want to read the Bible one time. And that's why I figured it out. Now, we should read the article bad, bro. Because the same thing that you read now is going to give you a different meaning. Yeah. A better one is never a whack one. It's always something better. A better one is never the right one? No. It's never a whack, whack one, like something stupid. From the other one. Like something that's going to catch you. Mm. Like, damn, this is sweet. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, one time, like, I was thinking about how, right? I was thinking about almost the beginning of the Bible. They're talking about in the beginning. I forgot who it was, but I think the dad was gonna give the son away. Yeah. Because God told him to. Yeah. Doesn't that remind you? I, I remember. I remember. Somebody but it doesn't remember. remind you. Like, let's say now you're going to the future. Now we're going to a machine. <laughs> and you're going to the Jesus days. Doesn't that make sense to you? That the part, of no, that part, no. What do you mean? It's funny how God can, you see how time, a timeline, right? Yeah. Let's say I do something with you now, later on, you're going to remember it, you're going to be like, you're going to talk about the subject. Mm-hmm. So God, in the beginning of the Bible, asked this guy, can you give me your song? Can you kill your song for me? Now, listen to the Jesus story. You don't see similarities. He tested men. Men did what he was told. Yeah. He was going to kill his son. Mm-hmm. For that, God said, I'm going to give you my son. But it's going to be all over oh, the okay. future. Yeah, that makes sense. And by that time, you're not even going to remember. Mm-hmm. That's why you guys need a Bible. So that you can remember. And that's why he gave us Jesus. You see? Mm-hmm. But he tested us with that guy in the beginning. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I never thought of that way. I thought about it that way. And guess what? When I go to church, they talk about that. The same subject. They that compare was, the two. Yeah. They compare the two. It's funny because you have something in your mind. And then you go to church and they talk straight out about that. Yeah. Like a history in your gut. Like, this is sad. Some people get power, bro. Like stuff like that. Like, mm-hmm. can tell. like visions? You know what I like too? Our daily bread. I think our daily bread always hits my day. I think it was meant for me. What does that mean, daily bread? It's a daily devotional. But it's very good. It's like... It's like a Bible study. Like a little Bible study. Very quick. You read a passage, they tell you what to read, and then a person will say a life story about that experience. I understand everything. You gotta have understanding. When you read the Bible, you gotta ask God for understanding. You know, like, forget my sins and stuff. You know, all this shit I do all day. But give me understanding and wisdom. You know? Mm -hmm. That. I just started. I started to pray. Today was my first time praying. It. And praise him. You know, it's good to praise him, bro. It's good for you to, out of nowhere, look to the sky while you walk into your car. Love you, Lord. You're so beautiful, Lord. Little stuff like that, I really. I do that. I do that. I and just, I haven't I do done that, that in the do that a couple of days. I'm really disobedient, bro. And I'm scared because when you know stuff and you really don't do stuff, that's when you really get in bad with the Lord. I try. I mean, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I say, if I'm lazy to pray, I'll be like, I love you, Lord. Thank you so much for another day. Or, I like that. First thing that comes out of my mouth mind you know and then it's the rest is evil stuff but that's how it should be I mean, we're, we're not perfect man no I'm not you perfect. know one time I'm when i got so good with it i was perfect. even jealous bro i was jealous of christ bro i don't even want nobody 
I don't want God to love nobody but me. So you gotta watch it for that too. When you get to that level, you be jealous when you don't want nobody to have God but you. You know, it feels so good. Uh -huh. But it's mine. <laughs> You know, what I don't, you know what I don't understand, Phil, is that where did the dinosaurs fit in all that story? And that's exactly what I be thinking, but you gotta be careful. Don't go off, don't go astray from Christ too much, because God made everything, bro. Even all those fucking rocks up there and whatever is in them, you know? I used to question. I don't fear that. I used to, like, not believe, I used to not believe in God. And if I see an alien, like that, the way they're showing it. What if it's just a human that left us a long time ago and cause he's living up there in space, it took that fucking shape after generations and generations. Like I'm thinking that we're gonna do, I'm thinking that we're gonna really make it to that. We're gonna get into a place that we're not even gonna look like this. You know what I mean? But we will go further yeah. to the stars. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know how they're gonna make, I don't know how they're gonna look without the sun, without the gravity, you know what I mean? All those stars, <coughs> there are suns. Those those stars up there, they're suns. And then from those stars, they have to go to different galaxies. Yeah. One star is another galaxy. And reflections, remember? It's reflections. It's one, it's one star. That's another person, that's the other person who lives up there. No, 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 it's a bicicleta. It was a right? Pretty dollar. You're gonna rent my motorcycle. Oh, the right thing. Uh, terrifying. You see it? Mhm. Mm nah, she's friendly. She's not though. She's not though. Yeah. She's about that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know if you guys know about this, but <laughs> she was having yeah. a bonfire. And they uh they got litty. Mm-hmm. And I left my back door on mine that night and she happened to come in. It was around like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, the Aki. Si. Mm -hmm. Like I I entro ahí, la <laughs> Okay, bro. She was really up in here like that. <laughs> yeah, she came in. How'd she get in though? Was it the door lock? No, it was unlocked. Oh. Yeah. It was online and uh, right. I know, huh? Yeah, I was upstairs. How'd you make you look? I heard a noise. Oh. Coming from downstairs, I heard the bells because like the, the the owner he put bells, so that was a good call. So I heard the bells. I went downstairs like, what is she doing? What is she what is she doing inside? And she was just looking at the fish. She oh. the fish that was there, but she was looking at the fish. She didn't hear you coming down the stairs? No. No. <laughs> no, no. No, no. You were just walking down the stairs like, no, what's going and, on? And, then she, and she was like, and she asked me, are the fish okay? Because the fish, you know, you see it's, uh, it's covered in green moss. Mm -hmm. what do you call it? Yeah. yeah. I'm algae. Uh, yeah, algae. Thank you. But <laughs> she came in here and asked if the fish are okay. <laughs> Wait, that's there has to be more. I'm sorry, you don't get sauce and be like, oh yeah, a nigga that lives in my apartment has fish downstairs and just walk in and be like, I want the fish. Mm -hmm. um, she was bringing other people inside too. Like she almost did. There was another guy behind her, shit. and they were about to come in. Like, bro, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I was like, doing my yeah. pants without shirt on. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Chill, chill, chill. like, I gotta fix myself up. One and two, y'all niggas are sauce. I'm not. <laughs> you just want to see my fish. <laughs> she yeah, was bringing it. She wanted to come see some She almost did. She almost did. See, yeah, now there's something more to that. I'm sorry. You don't just walk in like, I'm sorry, but if I'm sauce, my neighbor having fish isn't going to be the first thing on my mind. So okay. there had to be something, especially if she's bringing somebody else in here. There had to be something else going on. 
<laughs> he actually just moved in. He just moved in. Oh, uh, cracker. Right. Nelson, que tu um, recién te, te moviste adentro, acá en la casa. Yeah. yeah. He just moved into his house. Why? Downstairs. Is that the one I told you about? Like, there's rooms downstairs, upstairs. Yo, you gotta be my mm-hmm. girl. No, bro. <laughs> Huh? Let's go, let's go. Wait, how you know my name? Can I tell you my name? Yeah. Are you sure? Let's boyfriend the fuck out. You don't want a boyfriend to fuck up on me? Why? Huh? Mm-hmm. I can oh, tell you. Just. It's 11.06 at night